So my name is Aviwe Mkopozi. I am a clinical associate from South Africa and currently I'm a lecturer at the University of Witwatersrand. Okay, so the program started in 2008. The first group started training in 2008. So we're just under 10 years. Um, yeah, just 10 years when you have... Since the, the qualification, yes, since yes. graduation. It is a bachelor's degree, so it is a three-year training program and there's three institutions that offer it. So it's Wits University, it's the University of Pretoria and it's Walter Sisulu University. Um, then after three years they practice as a clinical associate. After three years, once an individual graduates, they're going to be registered by HPCSA, which is um, it's a council that regulates a lot of healthcare professionals. Health, Health Professional Council of South Africa, HPCSA, yes. So just like in the States, it is a supervised um, profession. So we don't actually have an internship or a comserve. So after they've trained for three years, they go out and they work, whether it is in the public sector or in the, in the private sector. So that has come up, it's been raised by clinical associates in the last few years to say that it's actually not feasible to always be a supervised um, professional. So they're looking to see if they can have the discussion to get the professional to be from supervised to independent. Because you find that clinical associates are working in rural areas, I mean urban areas, where they are, there's a lack of doctors to actually supervise them. And now we're getting problems because they are alone in those areas. Um, I think there can be regulatory measures to maybe say that the profession can go from supervised, then with time and experience and training, then they can become independent in order to serve the needs of the community because their, their, cl their clinical services are needed out in the community. Currently, the opportunity is not there. Um, currently, there's very minimal postgraduate opportunities. Um, we're looking to uh, create opportunities in surgery, um, in maybe obstetrics and, and anesthesia. Those are conversations that are still happening. Um, it would be good, but you do need perhaps certain influential bodies like the Society of Anesthesiology to be a part of it, the surgeons to be a part of those conversations. So it's a good idea. Um, especially if we think about the movement of global surgery, where we're trying to have these skills at a primary healthcare level. Um, but currently we don't have those, the programs. I think we need to unite. Um, we need to unite and we need to share ideas. We need to talk about differences, talk about similarities, so that we can all progress, but still have um, a good standard. So as, as a clinical associate in the first group um, at Wits University, I remember I almost felt like I am a teenager with an identity crisis because nobody knew who we were. So coming to a place like this, you can see there are so many other clinical officers, clinical associates, physician assistants, um, and there's a community of practice. So it makes you feel acknowledged, it makes you feel recognized, and that's very important for the professional identity. So there's hope, um, they are part of a bigger community. It's not just happening in Johannesburg, in South Africa, the, the concept is it's, it's bigger and we have a bigger mission to serve.